now she's in full force and working hard for us. Good morning. Good morning, Julie. That's right, and she's doing a great job this morning. Part of her technique and training is searching a vehicle. Now, if you think you can hide drugs in your vehicle and Daisy won't find them, think again, because she can find any drugs anywhere. I have Officer Sean James here with me. Now, this technique is, you know, just a routine pullover. And walk me through that. What would you do with her? Okay, on any traffic stop, a narcotics canine can be deployed on the exterior of the vehicle to go into the vehicle. That's where we need certain criteria. It's got to be met. Uh, and then to go into lock containers, we've got to have the search warrant. Okay. And normally, do you keep the other officers away from the car and everything? Make uh, yeah, whoever you're pulling there's over. There's ways to have the vehicle set up, depending on the conditions, how I want the car, if I want the windows up, the windows down, and then, you know, don't go through the vehicle and, and stir up the odor, different things. All right. Well, why don't you walk us through okay. and see how well Daisy does? We'll start her up here at the front of the vehicle. And then we'll work her around and see if she can find uh, the aid we've hidden on the vehicle here. Hey, ready? Now, I notice you use your hands to direct her to look in certain Right, areas. I like to present areas of opportunity for her. That's her working her way back towards it. Oh, look at that. And once again, she does an amazing job. She can that, smell the drugs through the, the car. That's that, amazing. That keeps, but yeah, people try to hide it in the trunk. That's her finding it inside the vehicle. And you explained earlier, people actually try and hide it in different areas, like in different compartments. They, yeah, hidden compartments. They'll fabricate different hidden compartments and stuff. And her nose is what's going to find it where we wouldn't find it on a normal hand search. Right. And as we can see, Daisy is unbelievably she's friendly. Oh, now, she's she is friendly. also your pet at home. Yeah, when we go home, work. she's part of the family. She intermingles with my children, with my other dogs, my wife. She comes into the house. So she is part, She's of, part of the family. family. <laughs> That's excellent. Coming up in just a little bit, we are actually going to show you Daisy going through bags. So if you think you can hide drugs in your luggage, think again. Hey, Elaine, just a quick question for Officer James. With different kinds of drugs, is it different kinds of training? Is a specific scent for you know marijuana as opposed to another substance? That's a good, good question. Been there, been there. Uh, Julie's asking me, with different types of drugs, is there different types of training or is it the same training with all drugs? Yeah, the same training. Uh, in her mind, she's not finding the drugs. She's finding her toy. And she's just, she thinks her toy smells like meth, heroin, cocaine, marijuana, any variation of. So it's a positive reinforcement. Right. Excellent. All right. Thanks, Elaine, very much.